So you can't get this particular shoulder messenger bag from the Gucci store anymore, but you can still get the Gucci Ophidia. Now I can show you how this bag compares to the Gucci Ophidia because this is exactly the same size, the same shape as the Gucci Ophidia shoulder bag. This is the 2009 version, so I like to call it the older version. And I'm going to show you what fits inside so it will be the same as the Gucci Ophidia if you're thinking about it. And also, how I style it. Now, you can find the Gucci Ophidia about $17.50 on their website, and you might be able to go pre-loved as well. This particular messenger bag I've seen on Poshmark or even the Real Real for about three to six hundred dollars pre-loved. Now let's start with the differences. So to be clear, while I describe these bags, this one will be called the Messenger, and when I refer to the one on the website, it's gonna be called the Ophidia. One of the big differences between the Messenger and the Ophidia is well, the messenger has the infamous green and red strap. Now, to adjust the messenger strap is by pulling this kind of like a seatbelt buckle to adjust the Ophidia strap. There is a belt buckle, but with the belt buckle, you'll see on the side, the little shorter you make the belt buckle, the little tab gets longer and longer and longer. And then it just becomes a very messy bag with like tabs everywhere. The zipper tab of the messenger, again, it's clean looking. The Ophidia shoulder bag, the zipper tab just sticks out. This messenger bag is just canvas though. The Ophidia bag is coated canvas. So in this case, the Ophidia is the better choice because it is coated. So it's better to go out for the rain. This one again, is just the fabric strap. So this bag is just not rain friendly at all. So the biggest difference between these two bags is of course the front of the bag besides the strap. Now the front of this bag is just this little tab that says Gucci, made in Italy, and it's very clean looking, just a Gigi Supreme logo. And then if you take a look at the Ophidia, there's the green and red strap in the front, and then the Gigi Marmont logo. That's too many logos for my liking, the Gigi Marmont logo, and then the Gigi Supreme logo. There's just so many different Gigi logos. The look of the bag just looks very messy to me, so therefore I prefer this one, and because I have this one, so I prefer this one. Now the inside of both of these bags, the Ophidia and the Messenger has the zip pocket inside, but the Messenger has an extra slip pocket right here on the other side of the bag for easy access, small items. If you want a hand sanitizer and you don't have to go digging for one because you know, we use lots of hand sanitizer nowadays. So we just take it out. Super easy, you don't need to go searching for it. Some people might like a lighter interior like the Ophidia more. The Ophidia has a white interior, both just like fabric lining. The inside of your bag will get dirty just as much as the outside of your bag, I think. And so I don't really like that the lining is white because it'll probably just turn gray after a while. Do you remember when you were younger and you had these pencil cases and the inside of the pencil cases just gets all marked up? That's the same thing that will happen if you have a white interior. So I stuffed my bag just to show you what fits inside. Like I said, this bag is the exact same size as the small Ophidia shoulder bag. So whatever fits in here will fit in the Ophidia bag. So let's take a look. We have my keys, card holder case. We have sunglasses with my case and I got more cards and cash and coin purse in here. And then I have a hand sanitizer or, or lipstick. I mean, they both will fit in here. My phone likes to slip in the side pocket right in here. Again, I'm using it to film so I can't stick it in here, but it fits. I guarantee you it fits. And then the most exciting thing always, always, always is the water bottle. My one liter 32 ounce water bottle fits in this bag. It's so good. Like, oh. I've had a swell bottle as well. My swell bottle got stolen, but the swell bottle, the 473 milliliter swell bottle will fit in here as well. Maybe more slightly diagonal because that bottle is a little bit taller than this one. This one's just like thicker, but it's shorter than a lot of those swell bottles, slim bottles, Contigo bottles. Those are a little taller, but those do fit. I think if you have like a one liter like this, then yeah, this, 
Yay! <laughs> Now, going into styling this bag, if you take a look at the website, they have it styled with white t-shirts, blue jeans. I'm going to try and style this bag just like how the website did it, so you can see it side by side. I don't have all the items, but let me just put on some stuff and I will show you if I can recreate that look. Oh, did I do it? I got the sunglasses, the choker. I don't have the big pendant of the choker. And then this is like my husband's. I don't have an oversized white tee, but this actually works really well. The bag, the blue jeans. I can't wear heels right now. I do have white heels, but can't wear them, so I gotta put on my runners. Got the little big scrunchies for the bracelets that's in the picture, so this is the best way I can do it. It's actually a pretty good look. I like it. I don't have the Gucci brown sunglasses. I think this is as close as I can get it to be. What do you think? It's actually not a bad look right here. So this bag just isn't as great for like dressier outfits, like a little black dress. This bag is just very, very casual. And the same thing with the small Ophidia bag. Same idea, super casual. So if you have a little black dress, go with a bag like this one. I made a review on this one as like a Chanel dupe. It's great because of the chain. So go watch that next and I will see you over there. Goodbye for now.